Welcome back to Warriors Weekly. Now, Basketball 101 with Jim Barnett. Welcome to another edition of Basketball 101. And today we have the privilege of having one of our assistant coaches, a former great player in the NBA, Sidney Moncrief. Sidney, welcome to the show. Thank you, Jim. Um, Sidney was an all NBA performer, also the NBA Defensive Player of the Year two times, but you have the distinction of being an outside perimeter player and yet you shot over 50%. Uh, from the field, and that's very, very rare. And you were originally hired as the free throw shooting coach because the free throw percentages were so bad and they've come up dramatically. I'd like to talk to you about free throw shooting today. Um, let's go to the free throw line here. Okay, well, and, we'll do and, that. And you can tell me what I'm doing wrong because as a free throw shooter when I was playing in the league, the first thing I did is I always noticed every gym I went into, there was a little nail hole which was the center part of the court. And I always felt I was a right-handed shooter and I would used to go, you know, maybe three inches to the left of that. And I had a routine, which I think is good, but I'd, I'd look at the rim and I would bounce the ball three times. And now I felt I was in alignment. I'd get the ball in the same spot every time. And I'd just go up and... And you make the shot. I'll tell you what, free throw shooting involves a system, first of all. Uh -huh. Every court has a little spot in the floor, and that tells you where you need to line up. Your location is the number one most important part of being a good foul shooter. I can take any player and watch them shoot a foul shot, and the first thing I do is get behind them, uh -huh. and I look and see where they're lined up based on the nail, because the nail is always in the center of the basket. So we want to make sure that, first of all, where are you lined up? Number two, what is your shot line? You right. have a right shot line. Yes. So you take the nail, and you want to line your shot up with your right hand, since you're right-handed. Correct. Which you do every time. Now, I just said you had a middle shot line. That means you actually take the basketball and you're shooting it from right over your forehead. Yes. That's a middle shot line. Now you would need to move over and line up the middle of the nail with your what? With your forehead. With, yes, and, and so my feet would be equal distance apart. Your, your feet would be equal, equal distance apart. And now that ensures that the ball is going straight and you're not making the adjustment because you're shooting the ball and trying to adjust it to get to the basket. If you were left-handed. Yes left shot line, then you would move to the left of the nail, and that would be your alignment, and that ensures that the ball is straight, and there's less adjustments that you have to make when you shoot the basketball. How about the number of bounces? Is that just a comfort zone? Is it important to bounce the ball? As I said, it's, I like three bounces. It's very important. That's all your routine. It's four things we teach. Uh -huh. Number one is location. You talked about the nail. Number two is routine. What we try not to have is, let me give you an example. We try to tell kids, parents, not to do this. <laughs> yeah, so, now they've got no... Now they have that, and then they like to spin the ball, and the ball might not come back, and you, now your routine is shot. So we like to teach what you did is keep your routine very simple. One or two, three bounces, maybe one spin in your hand, and then the next part is beef. So you have location, right. you have routine, you have beef. That's balance, eye, elbow, and follow through. Okay, that's very, very important you shoot a foul shot. Okay. And the last thing that we teach is practice. You got to practice your foul shooting. And that's what you don't see kids do or NBA players or college players. They don't spend a lot of time practicing foul shots. Yeah, they don't appreciate how valuable a foul shot can be. Do not appreciate it. Now let's talk about locking in. Okay. Because what happens when people are behind you waving and mom's in the stands and dad's in the stand and, and the girlfriend's in the stand and you're very distracted. We like to tell our players for Golden State, that once you get your location, once you get your routine, then you lock in, right. concentrate, and then you go balance, eye, elbow. The most important part that we teach is follow through, which means you stay on the free throw line. You don't back out yeah. to the end of the court. You stay with the shot. Well, Sydney, uh, you've certainly done a great job improving free throw percentage for the Warriors, and uh, we look forward to more improvement as the season progresses. And remember, you can pick up more tips on basketball by going to warriors.com. Just click on basketball camps. You can find all the times and locations. You can improve your game and enjoy more of the game itself. We'll see you next time on Basketball 101.